Just a quick message guys before I get into talking about Super Destronaut DX. I hope you guys enjoy all the videos I put out. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and hit that notifications button on YouTube. It seems like a lot of subscribers aren't seeing my videos because they aren't getting notified of them from YouTube. So if you'd like to be notified, then just hit that button. Anyway, on to talking about Super Destronaut DX. Hi guys, so today I'm playing Super Destronaut DX on the PS Vita. This game is basically an updated version of Space Invaders, with some cooler graphical effects, a few new ways to die, and some additional modes. I'm a big fan of shooters in general, and it's nice sometimes just to play an arcade pick up and play kind of game, where there's no worries about story. Although I do wonder whether this is a game that'll stay on my Vita in the long term. So Super Destronaut DX has four main modes to play through. There's a challenge mode which has a variety of, well, challenges. So things like get a high score or kill a certain number of enemies. Then you've got a standard mode where you start with three lives and you need to kill as many enemies as possible and score as high a score as possible. Then there's time challenge where you have unlimited lives and the aim is to get the highest score possible in one and a half minutes. And then there's hardcore mode. You've only got one life on this mode and enemies shoot a lot more frequently. The game itself is fun. Like I said, it's a lot like Space Invaders. You've got enemies at the top of the screen that are coming down towards you. Occasionally they shoot at you, and you need to shoot and kill them. Where it changes things up from the 80s arcade shooter that inspired it, is firstly you can get weapon upgrades. So some levels have power-up ships appear on them. By killing that power-up ship, you get a new weapon temporarily. Pretty much all of those weapons are very useful in wiping out the enemies on the screen, but it only lasts for around 10 seconds, so you can't rely on them for the whole game. Another way it changes things up is with these kind of ghost ships. So when you kill some enemies, they turn into these ghost ships that just fall out of the sky. You can keep shooting those ships and getting points, but if you don't avoid them as they fall, you'll lose a life. There are also ghost ships traveling out of the background to the front of the screen. And again, if these guys hit you, you'll lose a life. So you have to be aware of danger coming at you from different angles. The enemies shooting at you as well can shoot different types of bullets. Some shoot spread bullets, some shoot rockets, and some shoot some wavy bullets as well. It adds to the challenge to have all these different types of bullets flying at you, as well as the ghost chips to worry about. A play session on standard only lasts a few minutes, and when you die, getting back into the action is very fast. I also like the challenge levels as well. I like that it adds more content and variety to the game, rather than just chasing high scores. There are online leaderboards as well, which again will add to the replayability of the game, chasing for that high score and to be on top of the leaderboards. When I was playing it, I managed to get the Platinum Trophy in just 20 minutes. Like many Rattalaker games, the Platinum is very easy. You don't even need to finish all of the challenges to get it. I know a lot of people like getting easy Platinums, but I would have preferred a bit more actual challenge to the trophies, so that there's more of a sense of achievement. Overall, it's a fun and addictive game. I'm not sure it's one I'll keep playing though in the future. I return often to games like Geometry Wars and Luftrausers, and more recently Rogue Aces as well, but I can't see myself coming back to this often. So, I have an update to this video. I'm recording again after playing for a few more hours of Super Destronaut. And, actually, I love it. It's really addictive and fun. I've become a little bit obsessed with trying to chase those high scores. Classic mode, I'm still pretty far away. But, at the time of recording, I got the highest score in the world on Hardcore mode. So, I thought I need to add that to this video. Spending a bit more time with the game, it's actually a lot of fun and it's really hard to put down. It's definitely got me hooked. So, guys, are you planning to pick up Super Destronaut DX? And if you've already got it, what did you think of it? Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.